Hey, what is going on, everybody? This is Jonathan Farrell. Uh, super excited to show off the done for you mortgage broker snapshot. Uh, this is, uh, of course, obviously my personal favorite because I am a mortgage broker. I've been a mortgage broker for the last 12 years. This is the exact snapshot that I use for my business. And I've uh, also spoken with multiple other loan officers and given them this exact same snapshot for them to use for their business. And they love it. So huge for uh, anybody who is in the mortgage broker space, whether you are a uh, agency or you are a mortgage broker, this is for you. Uh, so this is the actual website that comes with it. Now, this is a fully built 16 page website. Uh, it does have a ton of different things in there, such as blogs. So I have the, uh, the three blogs that are on my personal website, uh, number of pages for each of the programs that are available, and then a little meet the team section. So uh, what that looks like is this fully built site ready to go. Uh, now, this is going to be a super simple site for you guys to set up. And honestly, this whole snapshot is pretty much set up this way, uh, where, as you can see, everything is done with custom values. OK, so custom values. This is going to make sure that it is a uh, quick and seamless uh, transition for you guys. Everything from the SEO metadata is updated with custom values. So you don't have to go in there and edit every single page. Uh, anything along the lines of uh, whether that be email, the website, the NMLS ID number, the the license number for the company, the company address, everything is all set and ready to go. Now you'll notice because I am in Texas, I do have the uh, notice to Texas loan applicants. If you are not in Texas, you would go ahead and put the uh, the actual notice for the individual. Uh, each individual state. Okay, I think Texas is one of the ones that does require this on the website, so that is listed. If you are not licensed in Texas, don't worry about it. Go ahead and remove that. You should be okay. Okay. Uh, so as I said, this is built with a full, uh, fully six, excuse me, fully built out 16-page website. So that has a number of different uh, pages that are on there, including. Uh, some of the most important ones within the mortgage industry, which is uh, the ADA statement. I will provide a copy of the ADA widget uh, that is necessary on the mortgage broker websites that you have that. It's very simple to set up. Uh, you just copy and paste the code, and that's going to make your uh, website ADA compliant. You're going to put it right here in the body tracking code. I don't have it on this one, but if you go to my actual page, which is level up, mtglending.com, you'll see uh, what I have done with my own website, okay? Uh, so, of course, the ADA website, uh, the ADA statement, uh, terms and conditions, everything else has been added to, okay? Uh, what we talked about is, especially with the custom values, this is what makes this super simple to set up where you don't have to go in there and edit a whole bunch. Obviously, you know, change out the logo, change out the headshot. I think I have my headshot on there right now, uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to put everything in the custom value section right here, uh, and that's going to populate the entire snapshot. So uh, right now I have my contact information in that way you can see it on the demo. The, the biggest thing, too, is you need to make sure when you are working with mortgage brokers that you have their apply now link. Right now I have my own personal apply now link. When you're going to go in there, you're going to ask them for their personal uh online portal link, their registration. And all you got to do is put that in there and it's going to populate in every single one of these boxes here. Make it super simple where you guys don't have to go in there and edit it every single time. So again, super simple to set up under the custom value section. I have their individual license number and then their company license number. So make sure that you guys add all that in there. And then of course, I don't know if you saw that on the uh, this here, all, the, all of this has been edited to where if you want to put their Facebook page, if you want to put their TikTok page, I don't personally have one, but most people do, a YouTube page, uh, you just got to put that in here and it's going to pre-populate that in the coding. So su super simple to set up, okay? Uh, I have two funnels that have been built in here. Uh, the, there's a home buyer lead funnel and then a home refinance funnel. Now, right now, obviously, interest rates aren't so great, so I'm probably not going to be utilizing this one too much, but it is there for when rates do decrease. That's going to be huge. Uh, especially for uh, mortgage brokers because refinance is a huge part of our business. But the buyer funnel is fully set, ready to go. Uh, basically, all the uh, automations are built on this survey. So when you come in here and you put in your information, uh, go through the survey itself, it's all going to pre-populate, and then that's going to trigger 
uh, the automation drip, which I'll show you that to you guys in a minute. So uh, secondly, there's the uh, confirmation page. So again, schedule on my calendar. So that's all linked on there too. Uh, all the automations have been built specifically for this calendar as well. Okay. Uh, I have a number of different automations. And again, this is the autom a lot of these automations are what I personally use for my own business. So um, again, this is built with the mortgage broker in mind. We have our pre-approval pipeline automations and escrow pipeline automations, and then pre-application, nurture automations, everything else. So uh, I'll show you real quick the pipeline so that way you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. And this is how uh, we have structured uh, personally my own business if this decides to load should okay so sorry took a minute to load but these are the pre-approval pipelines so new lead loan application sent loan application completed pre-approval started pre-approved act actively shopping pre-approved not actively shopping needs work so like credit repair this is a test stage i'll go ahead and remove that for the actual snapshot but um, then we also have our in escrow, which is loan setup, disclosed, submitted to underwriting, approved with conditions, resubmittal, clear to close. And then lastly, we have the funded loan process. So we have funded and then purchase. Now purchase is going to be more along the lines of uh, specific banks. Like if you're a broker, I'm a broker. So we fund our loans. Uh, if you're a correspondent lender, they get purchased by an investor. So you could put funded and then purchase. That's when you know that you're getting paid. Okay. So uh, again, there's different automations built on all of these. I'll go ahead and show some of those to you here real quick. And uh, basically that way you can get an idea of what I mean. So on the uh, pre-approval pipeline, okay? So we have our pre-approval reminder. So once the pre-approval link has been sent, uh, what happens is for us, we create a contact card and we have all these different things, making sure that it has a phone number, uh, it has the uh, email address because it is sending them an email and a phone number with our direct link on there, their apply now link. And then as you can see, the send application link. So it's going to send out an email. It's going to send a text message to the client. It's going to notify the uh, mortgage broker that the application link has been sent. And then it's going to add them to the app reminder workflow. Now, uh, a lot of times we send out an application link. It takes a couple of days for people to get that back. So we've created a little reminder as to, hey, how's it going? Just reaching out to see if you have any questions in regards to the application you're filling out. Do not hesitate to reach out. Again, super simple, uh, quick, easy reminder for people just to let them know, hey, we're thinking about them. We want to make sure that they get their application in. And then once the application is completed, it then triggers to the pipeline stage. Uh, and so that's going to uh, essentially uh, add to a workflow, a pre-approval reminder. And then it's going to uh, remove it. Sorry, it doesn't add them to that. But basically, it lets the mortgage broker know that there's a new application that has been completed. OK, so again, that's just the pre-approval stage. I can go through all the rest of these for you guys if you if you really want to. There's a ton of like, you know, home buyer nurtures have a whole, uh, you know, closing date anniversaries, uh, have a buyer lead long term drip 415 days. So, I mean, there's a ton of different stuff that's in here. Uh, you guys can, are more than welcome to, you know, to go through all that ads for marketing. So there's a ton of different stuff that's in here, but this is just kind of a, a quick taste in regards to the actual snapshot itself. If you guys have any questions, please, please, please reach out to me. Uh, my name is Jonathan. Like I said, I'm at Jonathan at digitalgrowthmedia.com. Uh, and I'd be happy to help you guys out. Thanks. Have a good one.